Welcome back to Studio Chatter. The phrase back to school may have a very different meaning this year. To help us get a better picture of school in the fall of 2020, welcome Lana Hiskey, the Community Relations Specialist for Nebo School District, to the table. Hello, welcome, Lana. Lana. Well, Hello. thank you. Yes, it does look a lot different this year. Yeah, what, what an interesting position that you are in. So, first things first. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole school year, back to school in general is going to look a lot different. Um, so there's a couple of options going back to school. Um, online and in person. So how, do, how does one make the decision? So we've kind of worded it a little differently because okay. we don't want our parents to get confused. But okay. thank you for that lead in. Okay. So it's at school learning. Okay. Or instead of online, because there's still going to be some blend there, okay. instead of online, it's remote learning. Okay. So uh, at school means that they'll be at their traditional school. Okay. And then remote learning means that they will be at home with a teacher that will be teaching just remote. And it might not be their classroom teacher or even a teacher from their school, but it could be a teacher from Nebo School District. Okay. So we um, have got about 60% response back already. And out of those 60%, we mm -hmm. have 5% that's going to do remote learning. Okay. And so if you break our numbers down right now, that would be two, two classrooms of second graders across the entire district that's okay. doing remote. So we'd have mm -hmm. two teachers then that would teach remotely. So Lana, tell us what the SMART acronym stands for. So we were trying to come up with something that students would remember, you know, uh, to help them stay safe and healthy. Because we know that, honestly, the best thing for students mentally, emotionally, physically, as well as academics, is to be in the classroom and to have a teacher that can see their learning and can see their expression and can see, you know, if they're catching on to a concept. So we were trying to come up with something that students would remember. Um, and, you know, we've got kindergartners all the way up to 12th High grade. Schoolers. And I think yep. kindergartners might remember more than oh, 12th Oh, I'm sure graders. they will. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, and so it's SMART. It's called SMART. And it stands for stay home when sick. We really don't want them at school when they're sick. Maintain clean spaces, their desk or their area. Mm. Advocate for distancing. We realize we are going to be able to have some distancing in the classrooms. A lot of our classrooms have enough room that we can keep distancing. Um, remember your mask or I like to say face covering because there's different types of face coverings. And train, we will train not only our employees but our students on hygiene and safety to keep them safe. So I imagine that's going to be a big part of the new school week. It's not just learning where your classes are and your locker mm -hmm. number or whatever. It's going to be learning these new measures that we need to take to keep safe. Yes. And Correct. I like it. Yeah. So Lana, you were saying about registering. Oh, Either registration online. is so important. So that started July 13th okay. and it's going until this Thursday, which is July 30th. And um, really we've only had 60% register. And so we're a little concerned we need the, the other 40% to step up. I know my daughter was one of them. She's like, oh, yes, I need to get what on and do that. What will happen if people don't register? They're getting phone there. calls now and emails okay. to, hey, remember to register. Normally, it's not as big a deal um, because we go off our numbers from last year. This year will be different because if we have more that want remote learning, we're going to have to have, you know, have those teachers step up and do the remote learning. And we have the teaching. new iCamp campus or whatever it is. So I think yes. that that's been a little bit confusing that as well. That has been, yeah. It's, you know, we started that a year and a half ago because we knew it would take a year and a half to get rolled over onto this new system. Had we known it was that COVID-19 was hitting, we would not have done that this I year. I can only imagine. <laughs> so, you know, kudos out to our tech guys because they, I know last week worked 80 hours. Wow. They, wow. they, and they're there tonight. In fact, they want me to stop by after this. So oh, they wow. are just putting in a lot of hours. But it seemed pretty slick. Once yeah. I got on there and did it for my son, it's oh, just good. a new format, but it seemed oh, like good. it was really easy. We were able to get into the system also. So I have two littles and we, we were able to get in, get them registered. We, we opted for the in-person. Well, am I saying that? School, school. Everyone is, school. School. I'm not but gonna you get know it what? right now. In-person's great. Okay, so at school learning. And then we've, we've just kind of been talking through everything and how maybe it's going to work and, and the face covering. So I, I don't know if that's yeah. going to be different per school. Um, but you know, we've tried to make it a little bit fun and fashionable. Oh, so, that's so, so this is okay. Little so you, girls, 
And then um, we, I brought, I brought just a couple because I knew that you were going to be here, and the face I shields. I love that. And the stickers. Oh, just so I love that they those. could be a little bit fun. And then mom has joined in the fun a little bit too. I love Just so that, that we can you know, maybe incorporate it. some. So <laughs> I hope teachers wear this. So guess what? I brought some too. Oh, oh, oh yay! Yeah. Okay. So, so this is one. Okay. And it just goes around the back. I like the glasses much better, but that's that's one. And fun. I work. We have ordered uh, thousands of these, and the reason okay. we have is so that you can see. A lot of people don't realize that they lip read. Yes. And you know, especially our choir students, mm -hmm. so that they can see a lot of it's forming your mouth. And so a lot of our classes and teachers, we've just got these ordered. We think they'll use awesome. those. Um, and you know, show personality a little bit, of course, mm -hmm. that kind of face mask. This is just the one that they give you when you forget your face mask. Yeah. Yes. Yep. But this was a favorite. Yeah. I got oh, I this this else. last Yay. week. Yes. And I have nice. one in what? Pink, black, gray, red. So, yeah. so yes. cute. So it can be a I face. like that so you're bandana not because I felt like I could breathe a little more. I wasn't so like stagnant right there. I could like yeah, I feel I, like I feel like it kind of gets like I need a breath mint <laughs> number one, and it kind of gets like full of hot air. Well, I do I feel like that, get, yes, that, yeah. that when we yeah. move into the colder months, it'll I think be it's fine. going to be a little bit easier to right. move them up and down as well. And and I ordered some of the disposable for the kids as well, just you know to kind of change them out and make yeah. it a little more mm -hmm. more fun. Also, that's great. Oh. You know, the state has really um, emphasized contact tracing mm -hmm. and so one of the things parents one of their questions is how, how are you keeping our students safe while they're at school so they will have assigned seats this year okay. I know a lot of our secondary students probably aren't used to that but nope. that way then if there is someone does come down and is sick they know who they've been by um, and then of course they're sanitize they're sanitizing a lot more than normal between every class between they'll be sanitizing everything um, as well as playgrounds, as well as on the bus. Um, on the bus, they'll have assigned seats as well. They will also uh, sit as families, and then that way that should help a little okay. bit there. You know, and I know this is so difficult. You know, our teachers, I don't think, even got us a break this summer because mm -hmm. they've been in classes all summer oh. so that they can go online if they need to. Let's say, you know, there's a breakout in one of our just classrooms. Well, then that entire class might have to quarantine, and then that teacher would be teaching, you know, online again. We really appreciated our teachers last year being able to turn that around oh. in two oh, days. They were so mm -hmm. slick. Mm -hmm. They were awesome. They were they were amazing. There were hiccups, mm -hmm. um, a lot mainly because the platforms were all different. You know, depending on what teacher was what platform. This time around, um, the remote learning is on the same platform. It's on going to be on Canvas. We also have a tutoring section for parents so that if that class has to quarantine, then they'll automatically know what to do and how to go into that. So, okay. or if a school, if the, the, and honestly, we take our information from the governor and the mm -hmm. Utah County Health, and they tell us if a school will have to be shut down or if a classroom will, will have to be shut down, so. One of the other things that I know has been coming up is nutrition. I know that schools are kind of a, a safe haven for a lot of children, and if they if they're choosing the remote option, how will how will they be able to partake in nutrition? Awesome. Thanks for asking that. Mm -hmm. So they will still be able to pick up their lunches. It will be a grab and go lunch, okay. and they don't necessarily have to go to the school that they would attend mm -hmm. normally. If there's an elementary school, if they're a secondary student, there's an elementary school closer they can go to their neighborhood school. Oh, okay. All they'll want to do is they'll uh, call ahead of time and say, I'll be picking up my lunches at this school and just give the count so that there'll be enough grab and go. Grab and go, as you know, takes quite a bit more effort. Yeah, it does. And so that they definitely will need the count so that they can have those ready. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Well, That's and we great. have to feed our football team this year. And so we just got an email about how we need to help facilitate oh. that. And like we are going to need to serve them. There can not be anyone like grabbing right. at anything and maybe prepackaged as much as possible. Social okay. distancing okay. with wow. the players. Yeah. yeah. You know, question social distancing. Yeah. We've been talking a lot about physical distancing. Um, we meet every day on COVID 19, and those meetings go, you know, a couple of hours long. And then we have separate committees. So we have like a transportation committee. We have a foods committee. So there's all these committees meeting on COVID-19 and then we come together. Um, and with 
physical distancing, we have many classrooms that there will be enough room for physical distancing. Right. So when parents worry about their child having a mask on for a solid eight hours, that will not be the case. I mean, I, I had to have a mask on for six and a half hours without removing it, and, mm -hmm. and it's tough. Yeah. It was hot yeah. and it was tough, but there will be times that they'll get breaks, and that will look different in each classroom and in each school. So mm -hmm. when parents have those specific questions about how are we entering the school, how are we exiting the school, each school has their own plan and have come up you know, with their okay. own ideas that works at their school. Perfect. Mm. So, so if a visitor comes, a visitor, if they're working in the school, they'll be temperature checked um, before they go back, you know, to help. And, so and are you allowing many visitors or volunteers this there, year? There will be some because we do need them. Okay. Um, so there will be some, but that will again vary by school. Okay. Um, and I think a big part of this is we really need parents checking their own children every single day uh, and not to send not their children back. Not expecting it to be done Yeah, for 48 else. hours, right. yeah. So, so what's the attendance policy going to look like? Is that going to be different? It's going to be a little bit more lenient. So okay. anything that's related to COVID or quarantine, let's say a sibling gets sick so the other sibling needs to stay home. Right. Yeah, it will be definitely more lenient. But then sure. do they have to go to the online remote learning or do they just still work with their teacher? They will still work with their okay. teacher. In fact, that's a good clarification. So at school learning, they sign up for that for the entire term. If it's not working, they can change it the term and go to remote okay. learning or vice versa. My niece is actually doing that. Her, my nephew's 13, he's going. My niece has some asthma, so she's choosing to stay home, but she just knows at the end of October that when the term ends, if it's right. working or not, they can That's switch. right. So they can switch. But whatever you commit to for the term, you have to stick with for the term, yes. correct? And you can understand why. I mean, oh, we have 34,000 oh, sure. students, sure. and if all of a sudden 15,000 There was a wave students, going here. Oh, yeah. right. Teachers, right. Yeah. So, so oh, we just want them to commit yes. for the, the oh, term, sure. and then if it's not working. Now, this is actually brand new as of today. Okay. Um, and You're getting it here on every Yes. So <laughs> don't air this before the email gets out. But, but um, NEPO is actually looking and it has been approved that we would like to go to a minimum, minimal day that we have on Mondays. So you know how the students get out 45 minutes early? Mm -hmm. We're looking at that Monday through Friday. Ooh. And the reason is it will give time to sanitize better for the next mm. day. But when these students have to stay home because of quarantine or they're sick themselves, then the teacher can have that time after the day to reach out to those students and make sure they're staying that's caught up. That's a great idea um, and give them a little bit more prep time so or that's, whatever. That's coming out in an email. So good bless you. Luck. <laughs> no. You know, really, really, good the, luck. really we are just so appreciative of our teachers yeah. and staff and our administrators. We you know, they have been just been working overtime and and all summer long and not not getting compensated, but they want to be prepared and ready, you know, right. for the school. Mm -hmm. And they just all want to come back. They miss their kids. Yeah. And the kids yeah. miss them. Mm -hmm. I asked my son, I'm like, do you want to stay home? He did really well at home this last semester. And he's like, no, we want to be together. We want to be with our friends. We want to be at the school. That's awesome. So, yeah. Best I think they're ready. You I think they need yep. it. They all need it. Mm -hmm. well, thanks, thanks so much. Thank thanks. you. Next on Studio Chatter, we'll talk more about changes for the fall. That's coming right up.